Hello, my name is Christian from TradeVola, trading with know-how and transparency. Today we want to discuss the topic of orders and here we want to present you all the different type of orders uh, which are available especially with the Trader Workstation from Interactive Broker. But of course you can also use them for client portal as well as the mobile application. And if you don't want to miss any of the videos in the future, just make sure to subscribe here to our channel. We would be also happy if you leave a like or a comment and try to answer everything as fast as possible. So first of all, we want to discuss what is an order and which different order types are available. I think every one of you uses or knows already market orders, stop orders and limit orders. But there are so many different other types of orders, which we will show you here in the screen and also to show you the benefits of all different order types and in the end you will see a short summary and also which orders we prefer and which orders we use in which market situation. But now let's have a look at the screen and uh, discuss all the details of the different market uh, order types. Yeah, first of all we want to explain in a very short form the order type stop, limit and market. I think market is clear, we discussed it at the beginning, but just to make sure, stop order, there's two different ways to use it. For example, stop buy order, you can put it above the actual price. Let's say here for our example from of Boeing, if it breaks above 220 or 225 from our stop market order, will be a buy market order as soon as the price is reached and we will be stopped in our long position. I think the normal way what most people do is just make sure that their long position has a stop sell order. As soon as it falls below a certain price, we will sell the position with a market order. You can also combine stop limit order if you just want to sell to a certain price or buy to a certain price as soon as the stop is reached. I think this is also possible. And limit order, if I want to buy Boeing, for example, to a cheaper price here at $185, I will place a buy limit order to make sure I get these lower price, the same for selling what you have normally as a target order. I think this everyone knows and it's most likely the orders what you use the most, but there's uh, some depending on the thing or on the assets you're trading. Here in our order entry window, limit market stop. What we discussed, mid price is exactly between bid and ask. And that's very important to know what is uh, bid and ask price and where I can find this information. You see it here, for example, for Boeing. Because now we have a pack best order. What means you go a little bit more aggressive in the market than with a normal limit order because I place my order pack best order will always change automatically one tick higher than the best bid order same for selling order uh, one cent or one tick lower than the best ask order so it's a little bit more aggressive but it's uh, floating so it means it's changing also the price but the maximum is the limit what you set here as limit price this can be interesting if it's really a big spread and it's uh, quite volatile because to change the limit price doesn't make any sense. So with pack best, you have a better chance to open the position for this um, stock in our scenario here. It's uh, Boeing. Snap market, snap mid and snap prime. It's a static order. I mean, it will not change. It will be placed once depending how you offset the order. For example, let's go back. We will take snap mid. You have a offset of zero cents or one cent. Means the following: If you see here, this is our best ask, best bid. And when I have now a snap order, you go exactly in the mid price plus minus the offset what you what you will place here. And for snap market. It's different. You go below the ask price, depending on your offset. Let's say you want to buy Boeing, but not at $204.77. So a little bit below the best ask, you will set 7 cent offset. So your buy limit order will be exactly at $204.70. That's what we call snap and 
that's the static order comparing to pack best what is moving. I think it's a different um, scenario. And the most interesting order type from all the different order types what we have here in Trader Workstation. I mean, there are much more. We will also come later to the trailing stop. I think this is also something what you really should consider, especially to save or to place a stop order for your existing positions, so for exit. But IB Algo, there's, for example, Adaptive. If we click on it, we have also a limit order what we can set up here. Then under Advanced, you have Adaptive and then urgency. It's very inter um, interesting because comparing to a normal limit order, you will have a better price or also to a normal market order, depending how urgent or how fast you want to open the position. There's three different settings. Urgent, uh, I would say the, the fill price should be similar to a normal limit order because it tries to find the algorithm, the very good price, but urgently make sure that you open the position. Normal should bring you already a few ticks, a few cents better price than a normal limit or market order comparing to adaptive algorithm order from IB. And patient, I think, should save you really a few more ticks, a few more cents, and uh, depending how fast you want to open the position here for the underlying. Also very interesting from all the different order types, it depends on the asset classes you are trading. The really short overview what we had here for stocks are most likely also available for options but for futures and forex you have also totally different order types and if we go once again here you just have to click on the drop down button and you will see all the other order types what are also available like trailing or trail limit order and also the adaptive um, different IV algo orders are here listed for all the details also for all the different asset classes let's check out for example future contracts you will see here there's not so many different order types what we had for example for stocks and for options and the last thing what i also want to check is forex because here it's very easy very simple you don't need to know about this extra orders as most of them are not available but especially here we have also IB algo order for forex available so let's go back one more time to our first stock of boring we had here all the different um, order types i think most mostly IB algo or pack best is really something what you should try for your limit orders and you will see the differences and let's say you have a commission of one cent or less than one cent then it makes really sense to save this um, cent if you use just a different order type you can i don't want to say trade for free but you can save this money what you have as a commission here in a better entry price and especially for small stocks or penny stocks that can make already one or two percent to have a better entry price and to use the algo orders from IB. So give it a try with a paper trading. You can see how it works, but I think in the real trading, you will also see the differences, um, especially to your normal limit order. And that's something what you should try. What we also need to have a quick overview is here the duration day. I think it's what normally people use when the order should be only available for the trading day. GTC is maximum 90 days and then we have also here gtd where you can put an exact date till when the order will be available and important if you want to trade outside normal trading hours we have fill outside uh, regular trading hours and allow pre-open so this is post market and this is pre-market and that's important in this time you can only use normal limit order there's no stop order and no market order just normal limit orders as soon as you choose this. I'm not able to use, even it's possible to select it here. Let's go back to our adaptive. It will not allow to place the order. What you can see, IB algorithmic orders are not allowed outside trading or, um, hours. Even it's at the end also a sort of a limit order. It's important to know and 
for options, you really should have a look on all the other different order types what are also available. We will put it here in the description as you can see all the details on the IP website and there's much more available from different order types, but we just want to highlight the IB algorithmic orders here as a limit order with the different settings of how urgent the order should be filled and then also the packed to best order what is also something what is quite interesting and you can also see here the products and in which platform is available what i told you in the beginning not everything or not every order type is um, everywhere available for example we see here in the trader workstation it is available let's make another example for maybe something more simple okay limit order was in this sense everywhere available but packed to stock and yeah for all different order types you can check this website you can also see some examples and some explanation but like i told you in the beginning to compare this to the normal limit order is very important because you can really save some money have a better entry a better exit and at the end of the day a better performance and that's why these order types were implemented from ib yeah it was good to see that there's uh, much more available than limit market and stock orders and i hope you saw the differences and the benefits maybe a few order types might be also interesting for your portfolio i hope there was some good knowledge uh, what you can use for your trading and uh, don't forget to leave a like and a comment we would be happy to welcome you here next time again. Thank you very much.